Well, Bibb County commissioners are set to vote on this year's 2020 budget on Tuesday, which includes no tax increase and no raises for county employees. Epicasora spoke with two people from the Bibb County Fire Department and Sheriff's Office who say without those pay increases, they're going to continue to lose well-trained employees to smaller counties. All right, you put the blue razor on that side. Sergeant Richard Center spends his weekends unwinding at home. I'm sick of it. Lately, he's been frustrated with Bibb County commissioners, and he's not going to sugarcoat his feelings. This should be the best paying agency in middle Georgia. We should be taking officers from every other agency. They should be coming to work for us instead of our guys going to work for them. Center has been with the sheriff's office since consolidation and with the Macon Police Department for four years before that. He says deputies need a pay scale that's enforced. And without incentive bonuses, they're losing deputies two to one. Law enforcement is having a hard time all over the country, but the way other counties are handling that problem is so drastically different. That that letter that was sent to the mayor and to the commissioners has been disregarded. Making Sheriff David Davis urging people to call the mayor and commissioners to ask for county employee raises after being consistently more than 100 deputies short for the last year, while smaller agencies are recruiting their deputies. Right up the road, Clayton County Fire Department right now, they are looking and actively recruiting firefighters. Garen Flanders has been with the Macon Bibb Fire Department for 13 years. Starting pay for these guys on a two-week fast track is equivalent to what our sergeants make that have been here seven, eight, ten years. He says there are 80 firefighters short. Fires like the High Street Fire could have left more injured. We were very fortunate that that fire happened in downtown Macon and not out in the county. Yeah, it's just a matter of time of when it happens. A firefighter is trapped in something and done, the manpower is not there to get them out. That's what is that lawsuit going to cost the taxpayers at that point? Virgil Watkins, head of the Operations and Finance Committee, says it would cost the county $4 million for a 4% pay increase for all employees. That would increase taxes by one millage point, or $40 on a $100,000 home. In Macon, Abby Casora's 13 WMAZ News. Flanders says training a new firefighter typically costs $60,000. Center says it's about $50,000 for a deputy. And the sheriff unveiled a new incentive program to try keeping new deputies for at least two years. He was hoping this would keep deputies from leaving.